Hi guys, I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. Thanks for joining me live today. I missed you guys this much last week, but I spent the week in St. Lucia and it was amazing. Brought back a little bit of the Caribbean for you today. We all know that when you go on vacation, the hardest part is coming back and I came back to snow. So there's something just not right about that. So I wanted to think about what can I do to bring that islandy feel back with me and kind of stretch out my vacation a little longer. So while we were there, we had this great drink that was called the BBC, which is a banana Bailey's culotta. They grow their own bananas right on St. Lucia, which I had known, and they import them to England, not to the US, but they have these most beautiful, tiny, sweet bananas there, and they're in everything. They even make banana ketchup. So I adapted a banana cake recipe to add the flavors of the Bailey's Colada to it so that I could relive my time in St. Lucia back here in New Jersey. So I um, hope you guys will like this recipe. This is not a family friendly recipe because we're gonna use the Bailey's straight up in the icing. If you wanted to serve this to kids, then you would use a Bailey's Irish cream flavoring instead of the actual alcohol in the recipe. So let's get started baking the cake because I'm going to show you how to bake the cake and then we're going to ice and fill it as well. Um, we're going to start with the main ingredient which is the banana. One and a half cups of mashed banana and I just fork mashed this. This is about three bananas here and just with a fork mashed it up and we're going to combine that with three quarters of a cup of sugar. I have right here. I'm going to put that right into my mixer. A cup and a half of the banana. Kelly says welcome back. Oh, thanks, Kel. I'm glad you joined me today. I'm glad to be back. Although I wish it were a little warmer. It's not too bad today, actually. Trying to get my tan to stretch as long as possible, so the warmth helps. All right, so one and a half cups of mashed banana in there with three quarters of a cup of sugar. And to that, I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. And two eggs, two whole eggs. All right, get that all in and just give it a little swirl in your mixer just to get those ingredients to blend together. You already can smell the banana and that already is taking me back to St. Lucia because I'm telling you there were bananas in everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients, two cups of flour, all-purpose flour, One teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt. Got those three in here. Kathy, salt. Kathy's jealous of your tan. Aw, thanks, Kathy. I hope it lasts a while. Get those in there. And then I'm gonna mix that up. So now, as a banana cake recipe, normally I would add vanilla to this but I decided to tweak it up a little bit and we're gonna go with the Bailey's Irish Cream instead of the vanilla. So, two tablespoons of vanilla is what the recipe calls for. I'm replacing that with two tablespoons of Bailey's. So you get that Bailey's taste right in the cake. One for you, one for me. Get that in there. So this part will bake off, you know, the alcohol will evaporate in the baking process, but we're gonna add a hit of this to the icing too, just to get really have that Bailey's flavor running through. This is it for this recipe, super simple. Everything goes in the bowl. You can see it's nice and thick. You can always add a little more. You can add some more to taste, that's fine. All right. Once you have this all blended together, we're gonna go ahead and put it into our pans. I use two eight inch round cake pans and I just grease those. They don't need to be floured, just greasing is fine. And I'm just gonna divide this batter equally into the two pans. 
So half in one and half in the other. too guilty of drinking this drink because it had banana in it so it's like you know this is kind of like a health food drink so I can have a couple so you know I think the adding the Baileys to the cake is just sort of carrying that straight through you got the banana in there your vitamin C that's right potassium it's all good all right so get these in your pan get them sort of evenly spread out so it bakes up nice and evenly and you want to bake this at 350. I go a half hour, then I give it a spin, put it in for another 10 to 15 minutes until it's golden brown. Let me show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. That's how it's going to bake up for you. So it's almost got a little bit of a banana bread consistency to it which makes it really nice and rich and it gets a great texture um, on when you eat it. All right, so I'm gonna leave these aside to cool for a second. I'm gonna show you how we make the filling. I just have whipped cream. This is just straight whipped cream. I just whipped it up nice and firm because I'm gonna add the Baileys to it. So I want it to be pretty stiff so that it doesn't just fall apart when the alcohol goes in. What do you say, guys, a cup? I think a cup's a good good place to start. You want to be generous with this because this is where you're going to get your flavor. Hey Diane, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. All right, I'm going to start with half of that and get it incorporated and just fold it into the whipped cream. You see how it sort of starts already to soften the whipped cream with that liquid in there? So that's why you don't want uh, to start with a soft whipped cream. You want to have nice firm peaks at the beginning so you have a little leeway for it to soften up when you add the Baileys to it. I think I'm driving my cameraman here, Russ, a little crazy with the smell. Mm. It's delicious. Mm. All right, and the rest is going in. Get that nice cup full in there. So in this, the alcohol is just straight up into this whipped cream, so it's not cooking off at all. So you definitely will have the alcohol content in the cake. As I said, if you want to serve this as a family dessert, you're going to want to use a flavoring, it's just an Irish cream flavoring or extract. So this really reminds me of the drink because it's creamy, you get the banana, the smell of the, of the Baileys taking me right back to the islands. Let's put the cake together and see what it looks like done. All right, so I'm starting with my cake board. I'm gonna pop one of my cakes out. Just wanna level that a tiny bit. Take the little bit of this top part off. It's gonna be a taster piece for us. And you can see the banana in there, the nice fresh banana all running through that. Hey Erica, thanks for joining. Happy New Year to everybody. I haven't seen you guys since New Year. Happy New Year. I left very early on New Year's Day, so. All right, a little bit of this Bailey's whipped cream. Whoops, made a little mess there. In between my layers. I would say you wanna get about half an inch in there. So you have a nice, generous amount of that filling. And I'm gonna add some sliced banana to carry that banana flavor through. The bananas were so cute in St. Lucia. They were like half the size of this. They were tiny and they were growing right on, you'd just be sitting there. They were all over the place, right on the tree. It's so cool. You don't need a grocery store. Just pick it off the tree and eat it. All right, gonna add some sliced banana to the middle of this. I know you guys love my little banana slicer, right? How cute is it? One whole banana in there, works. Spread these out a little bit. I 
Okay. I'm gonna put the other layer on top. This one, I'm gonna trim it down a tiny bit too. Just gonna take the little bump off the top so it's nice and flat. All right, then I always do bottoms up so you get the nice flat part on the top. So bottoms up, put that right on top of there. Give it a little smush down so everybody sticks together. And then I'm gonna ice the sides using the same whipped cream with the Baileys in it. And just get my sides covered. When I do this, I usually push a little bit over the edge and then just pull toward me on my spinner to get the sides covered. Just make sure you have plenty of frosting so you don't see cake through. Get a little bit more. All right, once it's all covered, I'm gonna get rid of some of my excess. But I don't want this to be smooth iced because I want it to be creamy and frothy to remind me of the drink. So I'm gonna use my spatula to add a little bit of texture to the cake. Just kinda kinda come around with it, give it a little texture. And continue that on the top as well. Plus you want a lot of that whipped cream, so you want to be able to, using a texture make, allows you to have a little bit more of that on there. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of toasted coconut. This is completely up to you, but coconut is islandy. So I think a little bit of toasted coconut right on the top, sort of pulls that all in together. And it looks really pretty too. You can use white coconut here too. You could use chopped nuts if you prefer. You can do nothing. That is completely up to you. Yum. Who's ready for a piece? This is our BBC cake, Banana Bailey's Colada cake, um, brought back to you from my trip in St. Lucia. I think I'm gonna have to go back there, I just loved it. Um, layers of banana cakes filled with a Bailey's whipped cream in and out and topped with toasted coconut, sliced bananas in the middle. Guys, you've gotta try this one. It's delicious, take my word for it. If you don't believe me, go to St. Lucia, have a BBC, come back, make the cake, you'll see. Um, thanks for joining me. Tonight we have a wine and chocolate night. Um, there's still some space available, so go on our website under events and sign up if you wanna join us, super fun. Um, we have our challenge coming up, a lot of fun things in February, including our couples uh, yoga and cupcakes. Check out our events online. Come see me in the shop. Valentine's Day stuff is going out. Don't forget our all chocolate heart box. The box is made of chocolate filled with delicious chocolate. So you gotta get one of these for your Valentine's. Thanks for joining me today on Live Guys. I'm gonna see you next Wednesday. Have a great week.